Hey guys, this is Amit from Phone Radar, and you're watching the review of the all new Ficom Passion P660. Most of you might need an introduction to this company. Ficom is yet another Chinese smartphone manufacturer, but it hasn't got a name that's like the Xiaomi or Xiaomi or Zeti, Meizu, and all the other brands. Ficom has been in the smartphone market since the end of 2011 but the company is not just into smartphones but has a division in networking as well and has been doing quite well in Shanghai where it has its base. The Passion 660 is the first smartphone to be brought in the Indian market and it is kind of a big deal given how well it's packed and under a refreshingly sharp design. A couple of years back, a Chinese smartphone was looked at with a lot of doubts. Things have changed a lot and now there are a lot of expectations from a Chinese company entering a new market. Ficom will surely face the heat but the Passion 660 has got enough to show why it is not a bad choice. Design wise as mentioned above this is refreshingly different. We usually choose a curved body over the flat ones with sharp edges for the comfort of holding but for the size of 5 inches this is a compact and good device and the phone seems easy to hold except for the corners that are sharp and digging into the palm. The phone is increasingly light for the size at 110 grams. That according to Ficom is because of the aluminium magnesium alloy that makes the frame wrapping around the sides of the device. The metallic frame is just on the two sides while everything else is made of plastic and this is a unibody device that has two slots for SIM card or the micro HD card on the right side similar to how Samsung has given them on the Galaxy S series. The power button on the right and the volume rocker on the left are tactile and located well to reach each easily with the same hand holding the device. On the back the plastic cover has a smooth matte finish and it does retain the fingerprints if sweaty and smudges also remain but can be removed easily. Towards the top a camera and LED flash are located alongside the secondary microphone and the speaker grills is located towards the bottom. Overall with the design the Passion 660 is a well built device and the metallic side frames make it feel rigid. The 5 inches 1080p combination is nothing new and this seems to be a perfect one with a good quality density of 441 pixels. While the display seems a little undersaturated with the colors and it is not to an extent where we can complain a lot, it is not bad to the eyes and the colors seem softened due to the saturation levels. Viewing angles are good and although a little reflective, the screen doesn't make the reading experience any bad. The touch navigation buttons not being a part of the display is just as that helps getting the advantage of the screen area while using apps that don't take the full screen advantage. Touch response is quick and good on the smooth touch screen. Running on Android KitKat 4.4.4 based, it is not a stock UI you had seen here but the interface still feels much like it and the best part about it is that it's not cluttered. A proper app drawer with alphabetically arranged icons and the widgets tab to hold and drop them on the home screen. Nothing can be done about the number of home screens which are 5 in total and the only customization possible here is the wallpaper. The notification panels have two sections, one for the notifications and the other with further quick settings that can be sorted alongside a brightness toggle. Not many unnecessary apps are pre-installed except for the Google Play Store and the Barometer, FM Radio, Ficom Backup, Sound Recorder, System Operator and shortcuts to some settings like the Wi-Fi Direct, Wireless Disk and Portable Hotspot. Talking of the steps, there is a pedometer widget given in the device which is nearly equal to useless because it is very inaccurate. Once while the device wasn't moved around, it was just a lot of games played, the step count crossed 35,000 and the other day when there was a good activity, it showed lower than the activity which was shown on the Galaxy S6 which was used in the same time. The settings are limited and there is nothing deeply hidden making the experience better for the user. Though some pre-installed applications like the Ficom Backup which is company's app to create a backup of SMS, MMS, contacts and calendar. The only worry would be about the updates whether they would be timely or not though they have promised the lollipop update. The device comes with an internal storage of 10GB out of the total 16GB as well as it supports an external HD card up to 64GB. And you don't have to worry about the storage since we have also tested for the OTG and we came to know that it doesn't support OTG but you can always expand the internal storage. The performance of the Snapdragon 615 chipset is well known already. Almost every aspect at the same time is seen to be heating up quite a bit on most of the devices. It isn't the best in the gaming experience we have seen in the Ficom 660. The interface is smooth and responsive. 
and it never showed any lag. Out of the 2 GB of RAM, around 1.3 was available for a user of a refreshed boot and that helps in multitasking. Just for an example, the game Dead Trigger 2 we played was resting well in the background while I used 6 to 7 apps for some time and resumed the game from where it paused earlier. During the gameplay, the heavy graphics did show some frame drops occasionally but only when it was at extreme and when some apps were active in the background too. For everything else, we rarely noticed a lag and the phone can do quite well thanks to the light interface. Moreover, the heating was not an issue. We also did the browsing test and were quite satisfied with the same. The 13 megapixel rear camera on the back of the phone is a decent one for the price you are paying. The only problem with this is the unstable saturation and the software is to be blamed. Sometimes a particular capture shows colors to be oversaturated and sometimes undersaturated. The camera app is quite good in focusing with very rare inaccurate focusing and quick in capturing photos and saving them but the picture output should have been better to make it competitive against the likes of Xiaomi Mi 4i. The camera isn't impressive as said but in broad daylight if you can spend time taking a couple more captures than usual you might get one totally right. Exposure control isn't done very well but as the picture is too brightened on other areas where a darker area of the frame is focused on. The 5 megapixel front facing camera is just good enough for selfies and it doesn't carry a lot of options except for the zero shutter capture. The battery is where a lot of questions would be raised given the capacity for the specs included. Although the capacity isn't great, that's at 2300mAh, it isn't the best around uh, with several options from computers giving not just a higher battery but also great backup. The Passion 660 does seem to drain a lot of battery that's 6-7% on average while on standby overnight on the 4G network. That is when there is no connectivity turned on, but the phone is resting on network standby. But if you aren't going to keep the screen active for more than two and a half hours, it will get through the day. On average, for the entire week, we notice the screen on time to be around two hours and 45 minutes. As far as the device is concerned, for the price of 10,999 or 10,000 right now, the Passion 660 has it no reason to not sell unless you're looking for something that gives you a longer battery or a better performer with the camera for someone looking for an alternative to the little costlier xiaomi mi 4i that is packed with the same processor and ram and has a same display resolution still the passion 660 doesn't come close to any of the competitors if all the aspects are taken into consideration together not so heavy battery not the best display and not the best performer while gaming ficom has played well with the pricing though this was the review of the Ficom's Passion 660 Android smartphone. Don't forget to add a thumbs up and stay subscribed to Phone Radar for more. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.